Hello in this video we will discuss about the starvation of the body. So what is the starvation of the body? It means during the fasting time the deficiency of the nutrients will lead to catabolism. So that is known as the starvation. Starvation means the degradation of the body contents. For example protein and glycogen, bones and there are many things. So general overview if we will discuss from the fasting. So it fasting will downward will lead to increase the days of fasting. So when days of fasting will lead to respectively there are many several changes. Here is the glucose will be decreased in the blood glucose will lead to trigger the gluconeogenesis in the liver and glycogenolysis in the liver and muscle and glycogenesis will be inhibited by this activity. Glycogenolysis will inhibit the glycogenesis and uh, glycogenolysis will trigger the glu also gluconeogenesis but in the case of also inhibit the gluconeogenesis so later on gluconeogenesis will be occur so the blood glucose level will be automatically uh, increase so increase not decrease so remember this is the minus is not sign it should be positive so lipolysis will be occur and after the lipolysis after the passing days and the normal blood glucose level will be occur and the lipolysis will begin after the depletion of the glycogen to produce free fatty acid and triacylglycerol from the adipose tissue lipolysis and also the muscle cell produce the keto acid and liver is also use this free fatty acid to produce ketone is known as ketogenesis and this is the ketone is used which that is the alternate uh, source of the sugar sugar will not present so the keto acidosis uh, ketones formation but this ketones excess of the ketone will lead to keto acidosis so the major ketone is the beta hydroxybutyrate acetone and glyceraldehyde but the excess of the glyceraldehyde will be poisonous but it will remain normal due to the excretory system and here the blood ketones will level increase that is the alternate source of the sugar for normal energy balance and homeostasis in this mechanism the fat loss autophagy and there are many tissue repairs and cell repair will be occur and that is why the fasting or starvation is very important so here just we will understanding about the starvation of the body general overview that is simple so here is a vertical shows the graph is the degradation of stored degradation of stored means there are different energy reserve content glycogen fat sugar etc and the horizontally shows the passing of the days so here is the glycogen will deplete rapidly more increase during the first two and three days after the passing of the days the glycogenolysis will be decreased drastically and decrease to maintain and after this the on the basis of decreasing of the glycogen breakdown to increase the adipose tissue so the adipose tissue will decrease to produce the free fatty acid so used for the ketones production so that means the adipose tissue will be break down to produce triacylglyceride and this triacylglyceride will lead to increase the cholesterol and lipid in the blood so normally when we will check the blood um, blood lipids and um, blood triacylglycerol keto uh, uh, triacylglycerol and H ldl will increase but that is normal uh, after the some days it will normal and here is the glucose and here is the proteins will be degrade uh, after the 8 to 9 days and the ketones will be produced from the 3 days to 15 days the keto adaptation so the, what is ketone we will discuss also here is the graph for changes in long term starvation and long term starvation lead to stress of the cell and on the other hand the ketones is the alternate path for using the energy in the different muscle but ketones is the lightweight as compared to the sugar so easy to handle and easy to uh, 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 metabolize 
so here is the necrotic factor apoptotic factor or cytokines after the stress of the cell due to the starvation will lead to apoptosis apoptosis will be occur the cell death so the damaged cell if if the same damaged cell if the cell will not damage so it will more further repair and grow so here is the damaged cell will apoptosis of cell and protein and fats and hdl and ldl content will be recycled for use energy source cell division cell repair that cell repair is already that cell is healthy so healthy cell and energy source mean the mechanical energy physiological energy and heat production etc so here is the help, uh, healthy cell this healthy cell use the insulin like growth factor autocrinally bind with the uh, insulin like growth factor one receptor with a cell to proliferate the cell as well as divide the cell for homeostasis and maintain the health so that is why the starvation of the body is anti cancerous because the damaged cell will be excreted as a damaged cell will be deleted for example so here is the pituitary gland adeno hypophysis produce the endocrine gland endocrine hormone which that transmit into the a blood circulatory system and go and bind with a cell with a growth hormone somatostatin after the binding with a growth hormone with a cell will proliferate that cell and grow so on the other hand here is the damaged cell which that is the two pathway for apoptosis intrinsic factors and extrinsic factor is lead to apoptosis as well as the immune system is used for killing for example the cd8 CD8 cytotoxic T cell will lead to kill that cell due to the as well as autophagy and macrophage is also used for the killing and neutrophil also use the damaged cell kill but in this case here we will discuss about the extrinsic factor special is known as the fast induced fast induced apoptosis that is the extrinsic so here is the plasma membrane of the bilayer of phospholipid made up of bilayer of phospholipid and here is the nucleus contain dna for example damaged dna so this damaged dna which that means the unuseful cell so in this way the nucleus is present and here is you can see interleukin tumor necrotic factor kappa b and death ligand so anyhow if you remember that here is the inside is the death domain and outer side is the binding receptor domain which that is the uh, interleukin or tumor necrotic factor or death ligand for example a trial and fast uh, ligand for example fast ligand means the tumor necrotic factor super family which that is used for the apoptosis of the cell so here you can see this is the number 2 is the intrinsic way of apoptosis so what that means intrinsic way of apoptosis is due to the inside of the changes of the cell damage of the cell so here is you can see this is the death receptor this death receptor is bind here and the death, death receptor will be bind with a fast ligand so that is why it is a fast induced apoptosis so after this binding for example it can be trail or fast ligand fast ligand is the tumor necrotic factor super family so in this way it will be bind with that tumor fast uh, receptor and after this binding the recruitment of the uh, recruitment of the uh, fast associated death domain this fast associated death domain will recruit and phosphorylase to trigger the disc this disc mean the death associated signaling complex this death associated signaling complex will be bind after the binding with the death domain it will trigger the procaspase 8 this procaspase 8 will uh, a procaspase 8 will be activate and cleaves after the cleavage formation the activated the caspase 8 so after the caspase 8 activation it will lead to effector caspases there are many effector caspases we cleave more and uh, for example 3 4 as well as 5 etc etc 
After this, the effector caspases cleavage will lead to apoptosis of the cell. After that, it is the intrinsic, it is the extrinsic factor. So remember about that. This is not a intrinsic factor. This is the extrinsic factor. Why? Because the death receptor and the ligand will bind extracellularly, bind with the plasma membrane. You can understand as well. So that is why it is the apoptosis type. And this is we are going to understand the starvation of the body. So it is the starvation situation. So remember. So it is such as cytokines and deprivation and DNA damage and irradiation. This is the stimuli. This is the intrinsic stimuli. This intrinsic stimuli, for example, here I am drawing the DNA damage. DNA damage will lead to increase the reactive oxygen species also as well as it will trigger the uh, mitochondria damage also will produce a reactive oxygen species. After the reactive oxygen species, BH3 molecule will be triggered. After the BH3 molecule triggering, here is the ATP is produced. Less ATP will trigger the AMP, adenosine monophosphate kinase enzyme. After the BH3 molecule activation by this whole factors will lead to increase the backs and back. This backs and back is the protein. This backs and back is the protein will lead to trigger the backs and back binding with the damage, damage, damage mitochondria. This damage mitochondria will bind with the backs and back to efflux of the cytochrome C. What is the efflux of the cytochrome C? Cytochrome C is the basically protein uh, which that is present in the intracell, intra, intra, intra layer of the inside, inner layer of the mitochondria and to make a pump out. And the cytochrome C will trigger the FF1 to caspase 9 triggering. After this triggering, it is uh, ap aptosome formation. This ap aptosome formation will become a effector caspase. Effector caspases will lead to apoptosis. Same thing. So for example, here is the SMAC and uh, SMAC and IAPS. This SMAC inhibit the IPA, IP, IAPS and IAPS is the responsible for the inhibition of the effector caspases. Apoptosis. So the effector caspases will be inhibited by this apoptosis. But SMAC will inhibit, so it means the inhibition all things and the cell will die. So that's remember about that. Ap aptosome formation due to the cytochrome C complex with the FF1 formation and this FF1 will cleave by the caspase 9, sorry, caspase 9 binding to form a ap aptosome. So this is the basically the intrinsic and extrinsic factor. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like and share. Bye.